Welcome back, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do a bit of an update on testing basics. It's been six months since I did the last one, which I did the very beginning of this year, where I went back through all of the previous testing basics I've done and just let you know how the pieces have been getting on long term, whether or not my favourites were still the same. So we're going to do that now. I've got seven videos worth, seven videos worth, you know what I mean. Um, between January and now to go through. The most recent one I did was summer dresses, that was only like two weeks ago and I haven't really had a chance to wear any of the ones in that video since then, so they're not gonna be included in this, I'll pop those into the next one. Um, but yeah, all of the videos that I'm referencing, I will make a playlist with them all in and then link that somewhere here down in the description box or something like that. Um, but if you don't know, very briefly, Testing Basics is where I test out five items from high street to high end whether it be t-shirts, denim, a certain style of shoes, and then let you know whether or not you need to invest or it's best to just get it from the high street, basically. So we're gonna see how the pieces have got on long term. I also wanted to just say a massive thank you to all of you for all of the endless support I get for Testing Basics. It's completely changed the way that I shop. It's changed the way that I think about clothes. Um, I love doing it so, so, so much. It's the absolute cornerstone of my YouTube channel. Um, so thank you to every single one of you who watch it, who comment on it, who leave me feedback, um, everything. Um, it just makes it what it is and I enjoy it so thoroughly. So thank you so much. So the first video that we did um, for this year was heeled ankle boots. Um, and there were some uh, over the knee boots, some uh, ankle boots as well. It wasn't just ankle boots actually, it was just heeled boots. Uh, the winners were this Kirk Iger pair. Now with this one, I didn't go on to wear any of them absolutely loads, but I would still say that these are my favourites because of how comfortable they are. You can really walk all day in them. They've worn in really well. I really like the way that the patent leather wears in. It kind of has a nice crinkly look to it. And then yeah, there's been no issues with these at all, but in all honesty, I didn't wear any of them heavily enough to really, really put them through their paces. Um, but I would still still say these are my favourites. And to the extent that neck for next winter, I will definitely look at Kurt Geiger again for some heeled boots as a priority. I also did like the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots, the um, Highland ones, which are really popular. And I've barely worn those since. They were the most expensive pair and I've really not worn them very often, which isn't the best. Next, I did straight leg jeans. Um, and the winners were this pair from Ray, which are the most expensive ones. Um, and it generally introduced me to Ray as a brand, which has become one of my favourite high-end brands. I absolutely love it. And I did wear these jeans absolutely loads. I still wear them. They're absolutely amazing jeans. They're really comfortable. They wash really well. But I would actually knock these off the top spot with the under the stories ones that we did, just because they were so much cheaper and they have been just as well, good to wear. They've washed just as well. They kind of look just as good. So I would say under the stories generally for denim is fast becoming one of my go-to places. I just picked up another pair from there the other day that are absolutely incredible. Um, so I've been picking Under the Stories and High Street over, over Ray. I did buy one more pair of jeans from Ray, actually. So I love the brand enough to shop there again for denim. But by no means do I think that you have to. I've really, really loved this Under the Stories pair. They've washed fantastically too. So these have been knocked off the top spot for the denim ones. So the next one that I did was leather biker jackets. It was the most expensive testing basics that I've ever done to date. It was one of the most highly requested ones. And um, the most expensive one that we had in that was my acne leather jacket. That didn't do very well and still, I regret buying that jacket so, so much. It was so expensive. I think it was like £1,500. Maybe it was 1300 I can't remember exactly. Um, but one of the two, it was so expensive and I barely got on to wear it. I always reach for the other ones. The winner was this one from Marge and I still stand by that I love this jacket would 1000% go back to Marge for leather jackets they've been absolutely incredible the leather has worn in beautifully the fit of this one is so good that better than all of the rest the only thing that puts me off it is the embroidery on it I would definitely buy this again in a heartbeat without the embroidery because I think it would make me wear it a little bit more sometimes it just feels like it cheapens my outfits a little bit and like makes them feel a, a bit less chic um, as opposed to just a plain leather one, but still stand by this as the winner. It's a beautiful, beautiful leather jacket. I just can't see how it's ever, ever gonna wear or how it's ever gonna go wrong, basically, because it's so, the quality is so good. Um, so we'll definitely shop at Marge again. The one that I think came in last place, or if not second to last, was the mango one, and it was because of the way that the belt really, really fell through. It still does that all the time. Sometimes I tie it round the last loop just because it does drive me insane. 
but I've actually gone on to wear this one more than the Marge one, which is why I wanted to mention it. The oversized fit of it and the slightly longer length as well makes it so good to throw on. The Marge one I tend to wear with slightly more structured outfits. If I've got something high-waisted on and I want to show that off, then I'll go for that one. But for the days where, I, like, even when I'm just running into the gym or whatever, nipping out over a knit or over a t-shirt, I reach for this one almost any every single day in those kind of situations because it's so so comfortable as well it's a really 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 soft leather really like supple and nice um, and to say it was 150 pounds it's absolutely incredible and again i would go back to mango for a leather jacket because i've worn this one so much and it's worn in better and better just in the way that the marge one has as i said the belt still drives me absolutely scatty because it pulls through but you could just tie it around there and it sort of solves it and it's an amazing leather jacket for such a good price as well so I've been thoroughly impressed with it since. So which was the next one that we did? Oh, Breton t-shirts. The winner, it stays the same, it was ASOS. I flipping love this t-shirt, it was like £12 or something, it was so, so, so affordable and it's been absolutely amazing. This has been in and out of the wash a gajillion times because I've worn it so relentlessly. Actually, quite a few times I've worn it underneath that... Um, mango leather jacket as well but it's washed perfectly it comes out of the wash the exact same way it went in every single time without fail love the boxy fit it hasn't that the cotton feels exactly the same i've been so 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 impressed with it and i keep re re religiously checking asos for their t-shirts now and i've been buying loads more since this one because it really converted me onto their super super basics range but this has been amazing. I got this one in a size 10. The fit's gorgeous. Really absolutely knocks all the other ones out of the park from that video. Still my favourite one. Next after that was trainers. So the most expensive ones I had in that, which I have to mention because um, I'm in the midst of having a massive, massive clear out. And these are going. These are the most expensive ones. I'll leave like a link for my Depop down in the description box. I'm not put everything on yet, but if you want to go and follow for when I do, I'm going to be selling these. Now, I'm not going to make a good sales pitch here because I really, really haven't been impressed with these at all. I've barely worn them. And this is just if you like were really wanting them, then they're going to be on sale at a size 40 from me. They've probably been worn about two or three times. I have not worn them since I filmed that video. Don't find them easy to wear. Don't find them easy to style. I think they're grotesquely expensive for something so simple. So not worth the money. And like, I'm a fan of Gucci. Like, I'm the kind of person that will buy Gucci just because it's Gucci. I'm that shallow, but not for these. It just doesn't, doesn't sit right for these at all. So yeah, they're gonna, I'm gonna be getting rid of these, which is, which is not a shame at all. I'd be glad to see the back of them, honestly. <laughs> If anyone goes and buy the, buys these off of what I'm saying now, I'll be absolutely amazed. Um, but yeah, the Gucci trainers were a no-go. They didn't win. I think they came in last place, actually, in the video. But definitely not worth the money. The two that came in joint first place were the Superga. I also learned how to say that word through this video. So thank you to everybody on that one. And the Vans Old School stays the same. Probably went on to wear these, wear these a little bit more. I religiously wear these, really. They're like my go-to trainers along with some high-top Converse. They're so comfortable. They're amazing. They look amazing with everything. But as it's been getting hotter and hotter, I've been wearing these a lot as well, just because the colour makes them feel a bit more summery. They're both... I mean, to say how much I've worn both of them, they're both looking really, really great. They're so comfy. You can wear them without socks wearing really well such a good price for like such good shoes i absolutely love them both and would still very thoroughly recommend them both as well and then we did silk shirts um in all honesty i haven't really gone on to wear any of these shirts that much um in it i wasn't like fully sold on silk shirts that was the kind of main outcome of that video that they just weren't majorly my thing i much prefer a cotton shirt so going forward i haven't really worn them so um, you know, I'm saying that's that I'm like being as honest as possible about these updated reviews. There's not much more I can say. I don't think I've even washed any of them since. But the winner was the Massimo Duty one, and I'm just going to leave it as the winner again because there's nothing to update on it. I really liked the colour of it. it, was really great for the price, still feel the same way about it, but generally won't be investing in silk shirts again in the long run. Um, especially not at this point in my life, maybe when I'm a little bit older that I'd find them a bit more worthwhile but they're expensive for what they are and it just doesn't seem to play a really big part in my wardrobe. So no updates on that one, I'm afraid. And finally, the most recent one that we did was espadrilles. Um, I had some espadrilles in that, which have been the biggest disaster, which I'm also gonna be selling. I need to stop saying this because no one's gonna, gonna, gonna wanna go and buy this stuff. But <laughs> um, They were the Bal Pages. I wasn't really sure how to say it. 
then they were just disastrous. But the most, they weren't the most expensive ones. The most expensive ones were the Loewe ones. And these won. Oh, you need to get these shoes, guys. I am obsessed. I actually saw the leather pair, the black leather pair in the sale on Netapool. So the other day, so if they're still available, I'll pop a link for them in the description box. These are so, so flipping good. 100% go for your normal size. On some websites, it says to go a size up. Don't go true to size. They fit true to size. It does mould around your foot a little bit. Like you can see here where my big toe has kind of caused a lump on it but it's not because it's like really really hitting the end it's just because of the skinniness of the shoe generally but it's not a problem for me at all they look fantastic on they are so comfortable like the, for me the, the bar is set at a Gucci loafer is it more comfortable or as comfortable as that and then it's a major winner and yes these are as comfortable they're ridiculous just I haven't been wearing them with this back stepped down at all I've only been wearing them with the back up but they're amazing. They have worn down quite quickly on the soles. So I will have to go get that resold very, very soon. That's a testament for just how much I've been wearing them. Um, and it's a rubber sole, so that's sort of to be expected. But something to bear in mind is that you're going to have to resole them. Um, I walked through muddy grass in them and got some mud on the end. So don't do that. That wasn't a good move. But again, it's not an issue really. The suede itself hasn't marked at all they're in, they're incredible shoes they're so comfortable they look good with everything have worn them with so many things on holiday at home with jeans with dresses with absolutely everything i love them so much i'm going to la well i'm in la when you're watching this actually again so these are coming with me because i'm obsessed so so thoroughly recommend them if you couldn't tell i'm very 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 passionate about these shoes so that's everything. That's all the ones I've done so far this year. It feels like so much work. And then when I go through it now, it's all condensed into something so quick. I'm like, oh my God, I thought I'd done so much more than that. Um, but I'm currently fi filming a slogan t-shirt one. This is a little preview of one of them as well. So that'll be up soon. I've got loads of summer ones to get through, which is really, really exciting. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously some of these aren't available anymore because these are from like six months ago, but those that are will be linked in the description box and you can go back through and watch any of the ones that you've missed as well. So thank you for watching this one. Hope you have enjoyed it. Suggestions for testing basics are always, always so welcome, always. If you see that someone's commented one that you want to see as well, give it a thumbs up. That helps me so much to see like what the majority of people really want to see as well. So always, always open for suggestions for this series. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.